Andrew Fizikas is the night sky guy. He joins us now. Andrew, this has been an incredible week for people who like to stare at the sky. We had the Perseid meteor shower, and I was out on Georgian Bay last night. You know, perfect conditions for stargazing because there was no ambient light. And we got to enjoy the tail end of the meteor shower. So flash after flash of light in the sky. Is there any chance that stargazers in eastern Canada with the beautifully clear skies could catch some of that still? Yeah, actually, the, the show isn't over. There's the, still tonight and tomorrow night that people are, it's worth it for them to go outside. Uh, you might see, uh, if you're lucky, about 10 to 15 meteors uh, per hour and maybe one or two uh, fireballs uh, if you're out there long enough. Just face basically away from the moon. If the moon is up where you are, uh, when you go outside, say after 10 o'clock to midnight, just face away from the moon and you should see some nice meteors. We were really lucky. We were out, I'd say around 11 o'clock, so the moon had not crested the horizon yet, so it could not have been better. What else should we have been looking for? I mean, we were really dazzled by the meteors. <laughs> Well, uh, one other thing that's up right now that's making news is uh, Jupiter. Jupiter is visible in the evening sky after sunset. Look towards the southeast. It rises ever higher into the evening sky, and it dominates for the next couple of months our night skies. It looks like a creamy, very bright star in the southeast. It's the brightest star-like object. You can't miss it. And there's a few other things this weekend over the next few days that people should look out for. These are for early bird sky watchers. Uh, basically, from Saturday to Tuesday uh, morning at dawn, looking towards the east, you'll see the moon making pit stops over a, a few bright celestial objects. First off, tomorrow morning at Aldebaran, then Sunday morning by Mars, and then over uh, Monday and Tuesday uh, next week, the moon will be next to a very bright star-like object, and that's Venus, low in the eastern horizon. Again, that's dawn going to make a beautiful site for uh, for naked eye observation. Absolutely incredible. My family and I last year, we were checking out your website because we were arguing over, is that a bright star? Is it a planet? And so thank you. You helped solve a little <laughs> family tussle. Now, there is some really interesting space news. What's up? Well, this week, uh, NASA uh, announced uh, something really amazing that looks like, you know, we're on the Weather Channel. This is very appropriate. There's weather on another world. We're talking about one of the moons of Saturn called Titan. And scientists have spotted massive rainstorms on this moon. This is the largest moon in the solar system, and this is an infrared image taken by uh, a large telescope in Hawaii. shows you Saturn, and underneath it, that little white spot is the moon itself. And they've taken close-up images in the infrared, and they've noticed that there are clouds that seem to pour rain onto the surface, producing lakes and rivers, they feel. But these are lakes and rivers of methane, liquid methane. It's very cold, minus 180 degrees there, and uh, methane is liquid at that, those temperatures. And that's what they think they've, they're actually seeing. And this image shows you that white spot there is the actual storm in the southern hemisphere of this moon. And this is the first time they've actually seen storm clouds on Titan. It's a very exciting find. Absolutely incredible. Now, um, when you talk about looking at this kind of a thing, Andrew, can the average human being do it, or do we need special equipment? Well, definitely. The, the, what we're talking about here is looking at uh, one of the moons of Saturn, and you can actually see it with a telescope as well. Uh, if you have a backyard scope and you point it at a creamy colored star in the west, at, uh, just very low in the western horizon after sunset, that's Saturn. And if you have a telescope with a, a high magnification eyepiece, you can actually see the moon Titan as a little dot next to the planet. Excellent. So many of us do have telescopes. I think a lot of people will be making sure they're pointed just the right direction at sunset and then again before sunrise. Thanks, Andrew. Well, I wish everyone clear skies. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and heading into the weekend, I know everyone does too. Everyone's going, come on, make it clear at my house. Southern Ontario, Eastern Ontario, Southern Quebec, fabulous for stargazing all around Georgian Bay. It's really going to be pretty great. Um, although Manitoulin Island, Sault Ste. Marie, you've got the risk of showers. And across the west, it's going to be unsettled. For more information, check out Andrew's website, thenightskyguy.com. Stay tuned now for your local forecast.